uh, interview. So hello audience, we have Piyush with us. He has completed his LLB and LLM in IPR and is now uh, placed with effectual services. So congratulations, yeah. Piyush. Thank you, Tornal, thank you. So Piyush, uh, how, how are the feelings coming that uh, after LLB and LLM, finally you are starting your career into intellectual property? Ma'am, uh, it's a great feeling. I was searching for the job during the COVID time. Mm -hmm. uh, I was not getting the job those days. Mm -hmm. uh, so I started with the course and uh, I learned the practical aspect mm -hmm. and that uh, helped me a lot mm -hmm. in cracking this interview. Mm -hmm. this so, so how was your experience when you were in your college days during your LLB and during your LLM? Ma'am, uh, it was a bumpy ride altogether. Mm -hmm. Finding a right path is difficult and when mm -hmm. you are from a small town, you want to make big and in big cities you face many challenges which mm. are uh, which are related to money and growth obviously mm. so you have to choose the right path and you want directions all the time mm -hmm. so um, i started with uh, i started with working with genpact uh, after my bcom experience mm. however i wasn't i wasn't satisfied with that job so mm. i started uh, i enrolled to llb mm -hmm. and there i understand where my calling is and mm. i started with ipr mm -hmm. and i was very much interested in technological development mm -hmm. so i worked to uh, i worked to start with llm only mm -hmm. and then i gained experience mm -hmm. and with then i joined ipta mm -hmm. and there i learned the practical aspects like freedom to operate and mm -hmm. and i understand how to draft a patent like you start with abstract you start with title then you start with abstract these are the things which i did not learn during my llm days because mm -hmm. that was theoretical part mm -hmm. and uh, this time only I learned that abstract shouldn't be uh, more than 50 words. Mm -hmm. And then how do you write a title? And then how to start with claim? Like you start with I and B claim. That was practical aspect that mm -hmm. I've learned. Mm -hmm. Great, time. great, awesome. So how did your interview went with the factual services? Were you nervous? Yes, ma'am, I was nervous. Uh, it was my first job, uh, first interview mm -hmm. uh, in relation to the legal industry. Mm -hmm. And I was a little nervous. However, mm -hmm. it went well because I was prepared. Mm -hmm. So what were the rounds and what were the questions which were asked? Uh, Ma'am, there were two rounds. Uh, first mm -hmm. for HR round and mm -hmm. he asked the general questions. Where do you mm -hmm. put up and why do you want IPR and what do you want to start with the sector services? Mm -hmm. That was good. And then I started with the manager round. Mm -hmm. uh, she asked me a few questions written to patent. How, how, what is the patent prosecution in US? And uh, what do you know about private and public fair? These mm -hmm. were the questions. Mm -hmm. But they, they were basic questions and these were fine. Mm -hmm. Yes, Great. Awesome. So why did you think what happened? Because you did your LLB and LLM. So uh, what is the difference when you do your degrees and when you do a professional course like this? So what is the difference between two educational programs? Well, the main difference is uh, in LLB, doing LLB days or LLM, uh, the mentors are more focused in giving you theoretical knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, how the patent works, they, uh, how, what, uh, what do you learn in patent? And what the, these are general questions which are, which are related to laws. Mm -hmm. What are the laws in India? Mm -hmm. However, they do not teach you the practical aspects, like how to draft a patent mm -hmm. and what is the freedom to operate searches. Uh, these are the uh, uh, aspects or these are things I have learned in practical mm -hmm. uh, in IPTA. Mm -hmm. So that was the main difference. Okay. So, so when uh, you say that uh, in your story that earlier you were working with Genpack after yes, doing your BCom and then you transition mm -hmm. into a law with IPR yes, as a focus. Mm -hmm. So what, what message you want to give to the students who are graduating now, maybe from BCom or from law background, any piece of advice for them? Ma'am, uh, ma'am, piece of advice would be that it's never too late to decide mm -hmm. and, uh, to decide a career which you can make later also. Sometimes mm -hmm. you may fall in a wrong path. You may start with a wrong path. However, if in, in time, if you understand that this is not where you should stay and there are mother, uh, there are other opportunities you can explore, then mm -hmm. that's the right time, I guess. Mm -hmm. Great, great, awesome. So one more question I want to ask that yes, because you had a lot of struggle in your career, mm -hmm. right? Yes, you work with Genpack, then LLB mm -hmm. and then LLM and LLM, you were yes, trying to find a job. So how difficult it was for a fresher coming out from a law degree to find a job on, on their own? Well, uh, initially uh, it was really difficult since uh, this, this was the COVID time and mm -hmm. LLM was just for one year and mm -hmm. that too was 
that too was interrupted by this covid thing mm-hmm. and it was it wasn't completed mm-hmm. and so uh, ma'am i started uh, giving interviews i started finding my interviews however when you do not have good contact uh, mm-hmm. and you do not have ex- uh, pack knowledge mm-hmm. you do not it you find it difficult to get get a job mm-hmm. and since these uh, recruiters are looking for person who are uh, who are experienced mm-hmm. so you will have to you will have to uh, get a mentor Mm-hmm. Uh, you have you will have to get a good connection mm-hmm. to play to get a job in IPR. Mm-hmm. So that's so what I thought, and I started with this IPR course. Mm-hmm. I was a bit skeptical to be honest, uh, mm-hmm. because I wanted to know the placement records and everything. Mm-hmm. However, with over time, these were minimized. My doubts were minimized when uh, the HR team was uh, <clears throat> giving the frequent opportunities. Mm-hmm. sharing the frequent opportunities on whatsapp group about the interviews and everything mm-hmm. and that's how i got placed mm-hmm. so was this your first interview or there were other interviews also you gave no ma'am that was my first interview and also i want to add one more thing mm-hmm. i was placed in effectual services however i was still getting the more opportunities about the interviews mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So and great. I'm also editing that group. Yes, ma'am. Great, great, awesome, Piyush. First of all, this is your first interview. You cracked it. That is like best thing you did. And plus, yes, you, it's a, it's a and good. And all thanks experience. to you, ma'am. Your yeah. guidance. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you so much, Piyush. It is at the end of the day, all your hard work and plus keeping a belief in the system. That's what you said yeah, that you were skeptical in the beginning. But yeah, yes, ma'am. I was skeptical. Yes. <laughs> that that's okay. That is understood. That is understood because everybody is skeptical nowadays because. there are some frauds which happen but yeah i understand <clears throat> and i wish you all the very best for your career thank you ma'am thank you ma'am <laughs> great great thank awesome you. thank you so much for okay. joining me okay ma'am bye 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 have a happy sunday bye bye same to you ma'am bye bye